Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Chicago. I'm actually from a neighborhood uh, It's about as far northeast as you can get in Chicago. It's called Rogers Park. What was your first break? My first break? What do you mean by that? Um, what have you been in? Oh, uh, I did like a, um, I did a bunch of neighborhood plays at first, and then uh, I did a professional production in my neighborhood, um, and then I uh, got my foot in the door and was able to like get into the film acting and stuff. How do you feel about this career? Um, it's, I, I really do enjoy it. I like, I like being able to, um, to, to be the tool that directors and writers can use to, like, um, tell a story. You know, I, something about that's really special, I think. How did you decide to become an actor? I think that just from doing, like, the neighborhood plays in my, in, uh, in my neighborhood and stuff like that, I, uh, I, I enjoyed being up on, on stage and being in front of a camera and, um, just messing around, you know, like messing around with a character and playing with um, the circumstances and uh, I don't know, something about that seemed really fun. How would you describe your specialty or type? In acting? Um, I think that I've been gifted with a, uh, with a lot of empathy. Um, and so s something about having s such empathy allows me to relate to a lot of characters in a lot of different ways, you know? Um, and so I think that's something that's very important when it comes to acting. Who's your favorite actor you look up to? Aaron Paul. <laughs> um, I, uh, I've seen him in a, a couple of things, and um, just the way he acts, the subtlety of his acting is like really, it's, tr it's honest, and that's, I like that. What would your ideal job be? An herbalist. And spiritual healer. <laughs> uh, that's what I want to eventually get to. And I, I don't want to have to charge people t for like medicine and stuff like that because I want to also grow and make my own plant medicine. Um, and I don't want to have to like um, make people pay for that. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yes. No, I, I think I consider myself to be lucky. I think that the place that I'm in now is um, definitely due to a lot of luck that I've uh, run into along the path. <laughs> what advantages do you have? Well, um, I, I grew up with a full family. I grew up in a very culturally diverse neighborhood. Um, and I think that uh, all the circumstances of, of, uh, that I've had growing up have led to me being an empath and me being um, I just, I think that, yeah, empathy is, again. <laughs> Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Diploma. <laughs> what do you think about the need for instant gratification? What do you mean? How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? I think that, uh, it, 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 like, when it comes to, like, internet and, and social media and stuff like that, um, Um, <laughs> I think that when it comes to like social media and like internet and stuff like that, um, we're both advancing and um, and losing a lot of abilities. Uh, and I think that um, that as we advance, we're losing a lot of um, of, of, of tactics and, and uh, qualities that we that we had and needed before. Um, that we don't need anymore, but are also key to our independent survival, you know, being independent and being self-sustaining and stuff like that, we lose when we become so um, connected. What does the future look like to you? Um, I don't know. I think that uh, if we keep going on the path we're going as, as human beings, we're not going to end up in a comfortable place. Um, but I think that all we can do is, is control ourselves and control ourselves in the moment that we're in. And if we work on, uh, if we be the change we want to see, and we, uh, and we work on, um, yeah, just, just like being the change we want to see, then I think that we can end up in a place where we coexist and um, a better place than we're headed. <laughs>
How do you feel about having children? Uh, I think that's that's something that that I uh, I can see in my future, for sure. <laughs> what challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Um, I think especially humans have uh, halted a lot of, of, uh, of growth, you know, uh, environmentally, um, in many other ways. Um, let me wrap it up. What's the last? What's the question again? <laughs> what challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Okay, um, I think that we're digging ourselves into a deep hole. <laughs> what are you most grateful for? I think being born in a place that I can have a voice um, and I can potentially make a change when it comes to many things, you know. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite way to communicate? Um, face to face. <laughs> What is your favorite book, movie, and music right now? Oh dear. Um, you know, I always forget the name of books. I, I think The Miracle of Mindfulness by Thich Nhat Hanh. And uh, my favorite movie, oh dear, has got to be one of the Wes Andersons. <laughs> All of his films are amazing. Um, maybe Moonrise Kingdom. <laughs> music? Music. Um, I don't know, I like a lot of indie stuff. Uh, I'm very open when it comes to music. Um, uh, I currently listen to a, to a band called Ratatat, which is like, um, it's mixed media, it's like guitar and a bunch of other electronic and stuff like that. Um, but I think I'm very open when it comes to music. A lot of indie stuff, I think, yeah.